Hi, this is just a short video um, about my experience of trying to release a um, stuck charge lead from a Seatme Electric. Um, if you find yourself in this predicament with a Seatme Electric or a um, VW E Up or a Skoda City Go E, they're all pretty much the same um, car, so hopefully this, this may help. Um, the symptoms with the car were that the charge lead wouldn't come out of the car when you press the unlock button on the key which normally releases the, uh, the the charging lead you could hear the servo doing something but it wouldn't release the, uh, the release the plug um, reading the manual the emergency release method is to press and hold the charge button in the center console whilst pressing the unlock button in the door um, for other situations maybe this would help but for hours it didn't because it, it activated the same servo that wasn't working properly we could hear it activated but still it wasn't releasing the cable um, I looked around online for any other sort of information um, there's information out there that says that there's an emergency release cord in the boot um, there isn't um, I mean you'd expect there to be um, you know I've had problems with petrol and diesel cars in the past and when the fuel filler won't open and there's normally a cord uh, there definitely isn't on here I mean this is the the, the the locking pin servo and as you can see there's no mechanical connection there there's only the four electrical wires so if you find yourself in this, this position um, I mean fortunately uh, the car was at home at the time and it wasn't at service station but if you find yourself in this position then um, the only method I could see to release this without breaking anything is to actually unbolt the uh, lock pin servo. Um, so to do that, you're going to need a jack, vehicle support, a 17 mil um, a socket and a torque wrench for getting the, the wheel nuts off, a T20 Torx bit, a T25 Torx bit, um, a small Torx handle driver and a small uh, ratchet for the Torx as well. Uh, once the wheel, uh, sorry, once the, the car was uh, jacked up and the wheel was off, um, you've got to remove the wheel arch liner, which is quite easy. There's just a few Torx bolts in there and, and, it, and it comes out. But the difficulty is accessing um, the, the servo. It's actually mounted on the left hand side of the um, charge socket as you look at it from the outside of the car so it's it's near the back of the car very close to the bodywork and access is really tight um, but it is achievable um, the bottom screw isn't too bad to get out the top one there's only enough room to to turn the uh, the ratchet one click at a time so it does take a while but just to release uh, the cable you don't need to take the screws all the way out you only need to take them part way and pull the servo back enough until you can get the, the lead out of the car. Um, I have done a write-up about this. I couldn't film it at the time. I needed to get the job done quickly and it was freezing cold outside. Um, so I've done a write-up on Speak EV and that goes through the process of pulling the servo back to release the charge cable and um, fitting a new, new uh, um, servo as well. So uh, the link for that is in the description below um, if you'd like to have a look at that and I hope you found this uh, video helpful.